I played a furry deck. <laughs> oh, I played furry bait EX or Incineroar is its government name. And I had some pretty good games with it. So that's what I'm showing off here today in this video. Another cat. So we've got another cat video here. And that's uh, par for the course <laughs> on my channel. We had Meowscarada. We had Sprigatito EX. We have Incineroar now. If that doesn't tell you that I like cats, I don't know what else will. But we played this deck that you see up above. This is Tordzard. We replaced Charizard with Incineroar EX. I thought about putting in a second Torcat, honestly, but we didn't. We never really used the Gritty Claws. But having having the opportunity to evolve a Litten into a Torcat, so you don't have to use a Candy, is pretty valuable. But we only play the one, and that's perfectly fine. It does what it needs to do. I didn't use Gritty Claws once, and that kind of upset me because I wanted to. I really wanted to use Gritty Claws. The opportunity, the opportunity never arose. We did get some good games, and we're about to get into those. Oh, Susej. I thought it said Seuss. I was like, I wonder if they're related to Dr. Seuss. I'm sure there's like people building those decks to, for like YouTube videos and stuff just to make silly decks. I just don't, I just don't like the idea behind the Reuniclus. Like, just, it just doesn't feel right. Definitely silly, though. So I appreciate that you're trying to do silly. Do you like silly? Litten and Scrotum. That's another deck we need to play is Scrotum. Oh, yeah. Nothing like hitting stuff for weakness. Definitely gonna have to Arvin here. Crypto Cypher Maniac. Yeah. And then you can, like, play some Poke Gears to try to get into it. I guess. That's like something you can definitely do. Concealed cards. You don't have the best hand here. I'm worried about a, I'm worried about them doing Kronos plays, but it might take. It's gonna take them a while. It's gonna take them a while. <laughs> do I even want to bench the Rotom? Maybe just grab another Litten. No. I mean, we could also use Radiant Zard to. Do we even have the Beeper? Pidgey just might be better. Like, we'll do this and grab a Poffin. And then Forest Seal. Come on. Do that. Poffin. Grab a Litten. Maybe double Litten. I mean, they're going to go after the Pidgey. I think we're going to try to get this set up. Yeah. Because we have the rare candy now. I think we're just going to attach the Litten on the bench. Try to force them to use a boss if we can. And we'll hold off on the seal stone until next turn, unless they... Mm. Like, we're not going to do the forest seal stone just, like, right now. We're not going to do it. Maybe we should have. Maybe we should have just put it down. But then they could just use a... A vacuum. Nope. Dialga doesn't play vacuum. To my knowledge. Like, the decks I've played have not played Vacuum. They've just been very... Yeah, I was worried about that. But if we get an Arvin, we're fine. And we got a Rare Candy, too. <laughs> so we get the Forest Seal Stone. We can get an Ultra Ball. We also can put a Radiant Zard down. Maybe we could just grab a second Rare Candy and a Pidgeot. No, not a Pidgeot, but a Forest Seal. Then use the Forest Seal to get a Pidgeot. Then use the Pidgeot to get... No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, we can we can use the. So do we need another rare? No, I think we we do, we will need a second rare. Can, we need another candy. We need another candy. Yeah. So whatever I get, it searches the first eight cards of your deck. Yes. Oh, that's not a good turn for them. That's not a good turn. Uh, we might need to get a vessel. Honestly, uh, we won't even put the Radiant Zard down yet. We need a vessel. I think we need to get a second candy, though. Or do we need... I mean, we have access to the Forest Seal. I think we need a vessel. We have the Ultra Ball in hand. And we are playing two Super Rods, so we can always get a Radiant Charizard back. We have one in deck. Okay. So we get a second candy. We get this. We have to... I think it's going to have to be Zard Magma Basin. Zard Basin. Get the Pidgeot. That way we can get a vessel off of one of these.
How much are we attacking for? We have to do three, right? Uh, how do we get out of the active? Is the question. Yeah, we need to, we need a fire energy on this dude, and then we need to get out of the active. So, we start alchemy for like what? Like a shit. We don't have a switch either. Prime catcher. Prime catcher is not good. Five. I guess we have to. Prime catcher basin doesn't seem good. Not basin, but. Prime Catcher Energy. <laughs> it sucks to do. I'm sure there's better ways for me to have played this. Now we've already used our we've already used Arvin. Yeah. We knock out the Matang. Bring up this dude. It's kind of whack. Now they could just like go after Pidgeot, I think, right? But we always just get a research off of a Pidgeot unless they like go after Pidgeot here. Stinky reunion deck. The big players mostly. Everything is based on whatever I may be fighting against. So they do get a knockout. Which is unfortunate. There might have been a better way for me to play that. That's okay. No boss, but they could have counter catcher to try to take out the Pidgeot as soon as possible. Is it Beldum? Double Beldum? Oh my god. <laughs> like, they're going to have to use their V-Star. So that sucks. So we're probably about to lose Incineroar here. But we always go up Pidgeot first. Play the Basin. We we're we're going to have to get a research, I think. Like, we have to play the Basin. We can quick search for a research. A the rhyme. A prime catcher. Oh, well, I mean, that still kind of sucks because now they just knock out Rotom and then they knock out something else. So here comes the Kronos. Yep. And then we're just going to set up the Pidgey and hope that that's what they hit. There's a lot they can do here. <laughs> I should have put the Radiant Zard down, honestly. I hope they don't knock out the Pidgeot because then I'm just screwed. Have they already. I'm pretty sure they have a boss in hand. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. That's enough to knock out Pidgeot, right? They don't have boss in hand, we're saved. Okay. Okay. I saw a card coming down, I got a little worried. One of those has gotta be a boss, right? I'm assuming. My assumptions. Please. No, <laughs> stop. That's ridiculous, dude. Can I at least top deck a boss, please? Not a boss, but a research. I swear they always have it. They always have it, but they don't have another Dialga down. So that's good. I will just do that. Like, at least we have a knockout. I wasn't even asking for it. I just knew. That's me calling. That's me calling my plays. <laughs> I call it like I know it. Super Rod. Double Matang, no Dialga down yet. We still have Radiant Zard, so that's like something we can use to... We also get a... Um... Thankfully, we can get a Pidgeot in play, but that's also just asking to lose at this point. There's a Dialga, so we actually just need to boss that up. Oh no. They whiff. The Void answered. Oh, it answered. Okay, just one. So they're going for the Dialga play. we That's what we need to be swinging on. Like the Mew kind of scares me a little bit, but the Dialga probably scares me a little bit more. Because at least with the Mew, they can only do 240. Well, I guess 260. Um, but they have to do it for three energy. Whereas I could just hit them for basically one now. Or two. Oh. See, we're getting some reprieve here. I don't even know if I want to put the... Uh, we can use Poffin. Get our hands on probably this and this. That way we just have some more like firepower. I don't even want to put the Pidgeot in play. Like that's... We might have to next turn. 
That way we can get like a boss for game. Like Mew's not going to be able to get a one shot. And if they put another Dialga down, they're only doing 180. We got this one. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. We've got this one. Unless they do something insane here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was actually a really good game and something that I would want to make a video on or put in a video rather. I do like the videos where like the the person like the person playing the deck <laughs> changes things up like midway through the video. Okay, this isn't terrible. I wish we had like an energy attachment. Are we going first? Yes. Okay. We can get a couple Pidgeys and a couple Littons and also something else. See, why couldn't we have just started with the Cleffa? Hmm? Oh, we only have the one Pidgey? That's pretty sick. I guess we'll grab like a Litten. So I, don't, I, I really don't be doing... Uh, we're playing Tarantula, dude? Ugh. I mean, we could knock that out, though. I really don't do viewer battles. If I had more like subs on YouTube and watchers are viewers on YouTube and on Twitch... I feel like I do more viewer battles for like subs on Twitch and like members on YouTube, but I can't even have members right now on YouTube. So we're going to get to a point where we can start doing them more frequently and do like subscriber and member only streams for both Twitch and YouTube. And then, uh, you know, we'll see. Oh, look, it's Wug Trio. All right. This is bad. Let's draw cards. All right, we got Prime Catcher, but nothing else. <laughs> we can top deck a, a candy, and then we get Iono. We can, uh, dang. All right, fine, fine. Oh, this is this is perfect. This this is amazing right here. This is a this is beautiful. Runaway draw. Don't care. I'm gonna get like other Wiglets though. Like, I, I'd be more inclined to do, like, viewer battles and stuff whenever I have, like, a bigger audience. Which I feel is going to happen. Like, I feel eventually I will have a pretty sizable audience. I think I have, I have the confidence in myself to know that, hey, people do like watching you, you know? This is a good hand. Absolutely. I don't want that to sound like I'm high on myself. I'm not. Like... I gen I, I've, I've talked at length about how depressed I am. <laughs> uh, I just know that people do care. And I do appreciate that. Now what? We attach active. We candy. Well, Arvin... I don't think we need that. I guess we could just like prime catcher. No. This was prime catcher. Do this. And then we'll use the Pidgeot for another candy. I don't think we're getting an attack off this turn. That's the problem. Yeah. We need the double turbo. Pidgeot can attack? Ah, you're right. I already attached. I already attached, Frizz. Uh, now they're probably going to Iono. Eerie. Oh, my Prime Catcher. No. We shouldn't have grabbed anything. Yeah, that's all I got rid of. That's all I can get rid of. Still send me a friend request? Oh no. Anything but that. Um, do we have a. Uh, don't have any fire energies. So, what we can do is we can quick search, grab. Probably a Tora Cat. Doesn't seem bad. We can, like, get a vessel next turn or whatever the fuck. And then from here. Do we just attack the Wug Trio? I think it'd be better just to do that. Kind of forces them to get another energy. That's like the threat right now is the Wug Trio. 
Pidgeot can definitely be an attacker though, for sure. And they're not gonna they're not gonna want to put much down. Like they can always counter catch her though. There's a Wug Trio. They have counter catcher, good for them. But they are burning them now. So what do they want to bring up? A Litten? A Torcat? Rotom? Yep. I figured it was gonna be I, I thought it was gonna be Rotom, but my scroat we can just uh get a double turbo and retreat right yeah okay we also have vessel all right so they're gonna mill some cards don't get the double turbo dude don't be that guy get three tails like come on come on <laughs> do you need do you, do you need three heads? Oh, okay. All right, there's a switch. That's fine. We got double turbo, but they have counter catchers, which sucks. We also have Turo, so I'm not really tripping too hard. Unless they discard it, then, oh no. Oh, we don't even have the other one. I guess we have to grab Turo. Losing Switch sucks. Um, will Turo pick you up? Going with this dude. We should just wait on putting anything else down. And then we just swing and knock out the Wug. We shouldn't have grabbed Prime Catcher, honestly. That was a big mistake on my end, was grabbing the Prime Catcher. To be fair, all I saw was Spide Ops. I didn't realize it was going to be like... But then, like, the only deck I've seen with Spide Ops is Wug Trio, besides the garbage I made. <laughs> we need to make another Wug Trio deck. That was really fun. <laughs> make another video on Wug Trio. Updated updated Wug Trio. We haven't played in a tournament in a while either. I feel like the more viewership I get, the more tournaments I'll like end up throwing myself in online. Yeah, we've basically used all of our outs to get out of stuff. Like we have to evolve this dude to start swinging. Arvin for a candy, get the Incineroar. Get the roar. Get the war. Do the roar. 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 Do it. I love you, Daddy. We could super rod a Zard back in. Could be another attacker. We also have the vessel, but we probably we probably should have played the vessel. So now they can just get rid of it with an eerie, and you know that's not that doesn't sit well with me. I should have used that. Should have used it. What the heck, man? Wug a tug tug. You crazy. They don't even like. They don't even have to dig a little wiglet. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> to done sparse. Honestly, this is kind of a sick deck. They can like counter catch her now. I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, like dude, for a bad deck, Wug Trio like it does stuff. Oh, we can grasping draw. Unfortunately, we have a two retreat cross now, so unfortunate yeah when a deck just doesn't have any way of like really retreating maybe that's why we had as many double turbos as we had yo <sighs> all right 
We need to get out of the active. Do we have a way out of the active? We need pal pads, dude. Pal pad for Turo? We sick. Grab that. <sighs> Alright. I guess we can grasping draw. Let's see what we get. I mean, that helps them, but it's all right. We just need to take two more knockouts. So if we can do that, we can pull that off. <laughs> Double super odd. Hell yeah. Research. They lose another counter catcher. So they should be down all of them now, right? Yes. Okay. There's a way. They just need to get three tails here. <laughs> it's gotta it's gonna happen. Three tails. Call it. Then we just like gotta knock out Wug Trio and then uh, Spide Ops. We should still have our boss unless we lose it here. Three tails. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. No boss. Okay. We're good. We're chilling. Because we attach. And we get a super rod to get some energies back. That's pretty sick. Um. Super rod. Should we get Radiant Zard? Probably not. We'll get those back, because that's our way of retreating. Um, we'll even... No, we're not going to put that in play. We could. We could. I don't think we're going to. Knock out the Wug Trio. If we can get a boss... Maybe we should have used Iono and see if we can get a boss. Now we just need... Oh, we should have gotten... We can, we can use Pidgeot next turn. Pidgeot next turn, get boss. Um... They can't use counter catcher now. They might have boss. They have boss. That sucks. Because then we have to wait two turns to do anything. That could be rough. They just get a wug trio. So they might have a... Mm. Can they get it? Roxanne. To a boss? I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? But they Roxanne. So that's not a boss. <laughs> All right. I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. We win. We win. Because we could just uh, Pidgey out for boss. There's reversal. We already lost Prime Catcher to an Eerie. Because we grabbed it prematurely. And then they used the Eerie on me. And then they made me cry. <laughs> they made me cry like a baby. To the sea. <laughs> cry like a baby. Let your eerie carry me. <laughs> oh, no boss. Okay. We're chilling. We win. Thank you. GG's. And game. Don't you concede. <laughs> I wanted to say all prize cards taken in my terrible outfit. And we're going to get some more Incineroar action. Hercules. Must I? I must. Hercules. 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 God damn it. <laughs> Your FBI agent won't be. I have, I have my own. So you've been playing as Incineroar? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I have my own FBI agent. Aw. Don't arrest me, copper. So they do an attachment. Alrighty then. What are they doing here? Ancient Box is probably actually a pretty bad matchup for me. You gotta like plan this out accordingly. I don't think we want to put Rotom down unless we have like Forest Seal. I might just take out the Bidoof Bibarel altogether. Honestly. I don't ever use it in this deck. I use the Pidgeys more often. We actually we actually uh, added a trainer card that actually helps us. 
We could actually, 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 actually. Uh, my list is actually just a. Uh, I mean, I've I've taken some things out and put some things in. I need to take out the Bieberel. I, I I don't use it. <laughs> I haven't used it a single time. I might even take out the Cleffa. I really don't even think I. Well, I might just keep the Cleffa, but because that is free retreat. Yeah, we'll keep that. Huh? I think there are Ionos in this. Okay, so we'll do this. Get rid of that. Grab a Litten. Yeah. We'll grab a Litten. And then we'll uh, Arvin, Poffin. And then... That's better. We do have access to a Luminion play next turn. Unless... Well, I don't think we want to get rid of the Basin, though. Like, the Basin is just really good here. They can keep poisoning the Relicant. That's fine. Okay. Like, this hand is just like... I'm going to hold it. I'm gonna hold it. See what they do with their two card hand. Like they got a they got they got some good stuff with the oh no. They got some good stuff off their squawk. We get two cards here. Us being able to hit a roaring moon and knock it out like the EX is so good. Playing Moon Moon, I have not seen a um Dunsparce, so they're trying something different. Yeah, I think I need to just take out Bieberel and the Bidoof. I'll keep the Cleffa for the free retreat. We started Relicanth with this one, like that's not good. <laughs> it's like the last thing you want to see. I really don't even use Gritty Claws. I just be, I just be swinging with Incineroar, dude. Like, there's been a couple times where I've been like, oh, maybe I'll Gritty Claws, but then I just do damage to myself, and I'm like, oh. No, I can't do that. Uh, we can get our two energies back, but we also just would rather, I think, Basin, and then get... I mean, we can get the energies back. Oh, we can get a boss and smack that dude. Oh, no, we can't. We have to get, like, a research, I think. We'll get an energy attached to the Litten on the bench. We can... It sucks to Luminion. We might just put a Collapsed in here. We do play Iono, but that's just not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, we have Turo eventually. Just play everything out. We lose our thing. This is bad. No candy. No Incineroar. It's kind of what I was hoping for. Yikes. I guess we'll start Alchemy. We don't even have a Pidgeot. Dude. I guess we'll just grab a Tora Cat. Or we can grab... We have Arvin for next turn. We'll grab a Tora Cat. We'll attach to this one. We could draw three. But that's just another two prizer that they can take. And then they just get... Uh, so, returning back, they get a knockout on the Relicanth. We really can't deal with this right now. Eleven eleven PM. I wish it were eleven twelve. That's always my wish. Whenever I see it, they're they're consistently getting their explorer's guidance. Have they played Sada? I think they've played a Sada. There's two moons that go to the discard, so they're like doing a good amount of damage with a switch cart. Interesting. Do they have an energy to attack the Relic? Well, they don't want to attack the Relicanth, right? If they... Actually, we can just take a knockout next turn. Yep. All right. Now we just need to get, like, a... Pidgeot, Incineroar. So we get a knockout. That's pretty sick. Top deck Incineroar. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, We can Ultra Ball. We can get Ultra Ball, I mean. Get rid of Rotom and Manaphy. We don't need the choice belt. Oh, we can get rid of the choice belt and something. So probably like Rotom choice belt. Get the actually we could grab a Pidgeot. Grab the Incineroar. So Pidgeot and grab grab Incineroar. Yeah, 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 and then we knock this out, and then we gotta knock this out later. Now, 
we attach? I don't even like the double turbo in here. So we might just get rid of those. Let's throw this away too. Don't need it. Yeah, Torque Hat's pretty sick. Like, we take two prizes, for sure. Anything else is just, like, not gonna work for me. <laughs> they gotta try to knock out Pidgeot or Incineroar here. Um, I guess they could knock out Incineroar with a Mooney X, but they've already gotten rid of their Mooney Xs. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So they're doing 130 extra. And Centaur is going to be taking 30 damage off this. And then if they have an energy, it's going to be doing a lot more now. Not a lot more. 10 more. Is that enough? Yeah, I feel like there's just better... Um, I think there's just better A specs, you know? We still haven't used our Prime Catcher. I think Maximum Belt would be pretty sick for certain matchups, but Prime Catcher is really good in the deck. And they just pass. They don't even attack. Interesting. You see, now we're just getting our double turbos. Put another Litten down. At this point, we just like, we Arvin. I guess we'll take the Prime Catcher. Well, do we have a candy already? No. Okay, we'll just take a candy. And then we'll get an Incineroar built up. We could also get a Radiant Zard. So we've got a backup. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take the KO. Like, we're doing some stuff. We just need to knock out that Squawk ability before they can do anything. So we get another knockout here in the next turn. And then all we have to do is knock out Squawk. Or we knock out Squawk and then take another knockout after that. Like, so we need to find a boss. We only play two pretty sure we haven't used a single one yeah okay no we're, we're good we're good we're good we're good and they might have just left <laughs> they might have just like saw the writing on the wall like i can't do this yeah dude i don't even play bdoof bieber else so that's already two slots open if i take out the i have both of my double turbos in hand i don't know neo upper just doesn't seem good in this in this list i just don't think it'd be good i understand where you're coming from but I don't like it, personally. If you build an Incineroar list with a Neo Upper Energy and you start doing well with it, let me know. But I'm feeling like taking out the two Bibarel because I don't use them at all. The two Bibarel. The Bidoof and Bibarel because I don't use them at all. I rarely use the Relicanth or even Gritty Claws at all. So I might just ditch the Relicanth. I mean, the option being there is nice. I just don't like it. Yeah, they scoop. I like to make myself believe... That planet Earth turns slowly. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Incineroar EX, just good fun. It's just good, clean fun. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and sub. I would really appreciate all three of those things. And uh, <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>